With Samsung Display's start of QD OLED production, OLED TVs have now begun to be differentiated into LG's OLED method and Samsung's QD OLED technology. And many reviews are not spared in praising the brightness and color of QD OLED. It feels as if white OLED as well as LCD have been pushed back. Although QD OLED TVs haven't quite hit the market yet, I can say that it shows that many people have great expectations for the new technology. In the previous video, I explained the possibility and concern that the contrast ratio of QD OLED could drop significantly in a bright environment, but today, assuming that it can be solved quickly, what kind of competitiveness will the two types of TV have in 5 years? This is a video about what type of OLED will be the winner. Now let's start the tech trip. Five years may seem like a long time, but it is also a very short time. The event that can make us feel the best of five years is the presidential election. How will the display industry change when the next president, who will be elected, takes office? Let's look at the direction of change in the display industry from the perspective of OLED on some issues. The first is the price issue. Although the price of both technologies will decrease over time, QD OLED requires more submaterials and processes, including quantum dot layers, compared to white OLED, so the production price is higher than that of white OLED in terms of price. Even under the assumption that the same yield was obtained. This is not going to change much after 5 years. Therefore, assuming that the same 3 stack is used, the price will always be higher for QD OLED. Some reviewers and experts say that QD OLED does not ultimately need to use a color filter, so it is price competitive in the end, but it is a statement ignoring the characteristics of the quantum dot layer composing QD OLED, so you can ignore it. The second is the resolution issue. Most of the TVs sold now have 4K resolution, and due to the absence of 8K equivalent contents, the proportion of consumers who purchase 8K resolution TVs at high prices is not high. TV makers claim that upscaling through AI is also possible, but the market response is not very favorable compared to the transition from full HD to 4K. However, the situation in 5 years is very likely to be different. Around the 2026 World Cup co-hosted by Canada, the United States and Mexico, broadcasting in 8K resolution is likely to be in full bloom. There has always been a major shift in resolution coincided with events such as the World Cup or the Olympic Games, and each station has fierce competition for higher resolution transmissions. Also, if the introduction of the 10.5th generation substrate proceeds along with the increase in the yield of 8K resolution panel, the price of large 8K OLED TV is highly likely to converge to the current 4K TV price. Because compared to 4K, 8K resolution panel does not require additional materials or any other technology, so it is a sufficiently possible scenario. So, how is OLED TV ready for 8K resolution? In case of white OLED, bottom emission method is adopted. Panel manufacturing is relatively easy compared to top emission, but since light is emitted in the direction where the circuits such as transistors installed in each subpixel are located, securing the aperture ratio is more difficult than the, the top emission method. In particular, the smaller the display size, the greater the difference in difficulty. That is why OLED for mobile phone, which has a very small pixel size, also adopts 100% top emission method. For that reason, Samsung has released a 34-inch 4K monitor using QD OLED on the market, but LG's white OLED using bottom emission method is still staying in a 42 4K monitor. Therefore, when the 8K market arrives, at least in the size of 70 inch or smaller, QD OLED can show strength and durability and efficiency even at the same resolution. However, as the panel size increases, such strength gradually disappears. The third is the possibility of developing an upgraded blue material. UDC, which owns the original patent for phosphorescent materials, recently announced that commercialization of blue phosphors will start in 2024. Until now, only green and red phosphors have secured the lifespan for display applications, but by the end of 2022, blue phosphors will also finish securing performance for display applications and commercialization will begin in 2024. And if it becomes a reality, the efficiency is expected to be about three to four times higher than that of the currently used blue fluorescent material. 
Currently used blue phosphors emit about 10 blue photons out of the device when 100 electrons are injected, while blue phosphorescence can emit about 30 to 40. And both OLED and cold can benefit from blue phosphors, but white OLED already uses high-efficiency phosphors for green and red. Therefore, the benefit of QD OLED will be greater. Currently, it is understood that the two methods show almost equal power efficiency. When a blue phosphor is applied, gold will show a meaningful gap with white OLED in terms of efficiency. In addition, the introduction of blue phosphorescence has the explosive power that can change the game of the display industry. When it comes to micro LED displays, which are unmatched in efficiency, durability and brightness, there will be no competition for ultra-large displays over 100 inch in the future. Recently, with the idea that high efficiency, color gamut, and price competitiveness in 80 inch or larger sizes can be achieved, micro LED side have been professing to enter the TV market under 100 by broadening the scope. However, in order to secure 8K resolution, 100 million LED chips with a size of 100 microns or less must be positioned at high speed in an accurate position, and the release is being delayed unlike the previous announcement due to the difficulty of securing contact with the electrode without error. On the other hand, in the case of white OLED, as well as 80-inch TVs, as well as sales of 90 or more, if mini LED does not lower the price to less than one-tenth of the current price in five years, it should be considered that the penetration of the market under 100 has passed. If QD OLED introduces blue phosphorescence having an external photon efficiency of 30% or more, it will contribute to significantly reducing the efficiency gap compared to micro LED. The color gamut is already almost equal to that of micro LED TV, and the price will be incomparably low. Will these things ever happen in five years? The possibility is very high. The development of blue phosphor, which is considered the most important in order to proceed according to the scenario discussed above, is more likely than ever. In the meantime, UDC's strong original patent for phosphorescent materials held by U.S. company will disappear completely in 2023. In the meantime, material companies have been reluctant to enter the development of phosphors because of the patent, but over the past few years, many companies have started developing phosphors in earnest. In addition, the development speed is expected to be further accelerated by the use of AI, and more material companies will enter the development and sale of phosphorescent materials one after another. Finally, the development of phosphors is also entering a competitive mode, unlike in the past when UDC was the sole system. To summarize the above, if the development of blue phosphorescence is completed within two to three years, QD OLED after five years will achieve the highest efficiency, high contrast ratio, microsecond level operation speed, and the highest color gamut from monitor to 100 inch or less TV. It will emerge as a powerful display that will dominate a much wider market than the present. And the unification of such display technology will be able to last for a long time, and alternative technologies that seem promising are not very noticeable even in the research stage. However, the problem of black expression in a bright environment that appeared on a monitor using QD OLED should be completely solved in the TV. Because a lack of 5% can make the whole thing useless. That's it for today. Goodbye.